Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be going through three major altcoins that are moving extremely impulsively right now. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video. Let's get straight into the action here on VeChain Bitcoin. Okay, so VeChain against its BTC pair. So you're aware I am also then going to be going over Link against its Tether pair and then Dogecoin against its Bitcoin pair because that is the one that people just keep asking me about at a moment. So, <laughs> you know, here we go. Going into these three alts, VeChain, Link, and Dogecoin. So starting here with VeChain. Um, I guess I'll say like the way that I trade altcoins is very different than how I trade Bitcoin. As you know, I'm a, I'm a scalp trader, day trader on Bitcoin. I go in and out of several positions several times a day. So, you know, I can easily take 50 trades a day on Bitcoin. But when it comes to VeChain or the, the altcoins in general, I much prefer to slow it slow it way down. You know, if I can tra tra take one trade a week on an altcoin, and I'm, I'll be happy with that. I really don't want to get overly... Um, you know, managing this on lower term time frames because uh, it's a little bit choppy on the lower term time frames. I like to just swing trade it, buy, walk away, come back and making some money on altcoins. And the way that I also view altcoins is, I must admit, I'm covering these three altcoins today because of requests rather than uh, where I viewed as good opportunity, if I'm totally honest with you. And that's because the way that I view altcoins, I like to, you know, you have to think you have, you know, 200 odd altcoins over on Binance. And, um, you know, you, you, I would personally say that you want to look at the opportunities, okay? And opportunities are not so much when the coins moved up, you know, hundreds of percent. The opportunities are while it's still in, in its accumulation range. But nevertheless, I'll go over the request here of starting with VET, okay? So, I mean, VET, you know, the, the levels, okay? You know how we like to trade this. We like to use levels and then Fibonacci. Okay, and I'll actually delete that one and I will show you how we put it in a second. But, um, you know, the levels are, are pretty nice and these are obviously your high term time frame levels. So I, I can remember trading all three of these altcoins. Uh, you know, what, what <laughs> I used to be a big altcoin trader a few years ago. And obviously V chain, you know, V chain was, it, you know, it's because it, it changed, didn't it change its name or something? It went from like this co this coin was called something different a few years ago because obviously over here on Binance you can see that it started in around July 2018 and I can't actually remember now I can just remember that this was swear it, it, it had a name change or something like this and I, I know that there was more history because I can remember tra trading it before July 2018 on Binance so I know 100% but I just cannot too long ago now well I honestly cannot even remember what this thing was called but I do know that it like had some sort of change and it like changed the way its sats were viewed a hundred percent. So you, <laughs> apologies. You know, I am. A, you have to remember as well. So you are on this channel for a technical analysis. I am. I'm not a fundamental guy at all. Like I, I honestly could not care less what I'm trading. I'll just trade anything that's moving sort of thing. So uh, yeah, apologies. I, 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 I'll be honest. I can't actually tell you what this, what, why, it, why it changed around its, its ticker. All I know is that it happened, and then I just started trading it when it was released around two, 300 sats, you know. So, uh, but definitely this did, I could, I, you know, I can remember for a fact it was something else before this, but maybe someone in the comments down below can tell you that that's a bit more of a fundamental person, because I, I literally can't remember. But for me, it makes no difference anyway, I'm trading the chart. But, I mean, here what we have going on is, is from its inception, obviously, around that 250 sats, 300, where it, you know, it made its first rise, it dropped down to around 100 sats level. And then almost doubled in price, well, over doubled in price as it come back up to that 250. Obviously made its way down, and this is where it entered its accumulation region. And, you know, although I'm not a fundamental guy, I do like the fundamentals behind uh, VeChain. You know, there are a few altcoins which I believe in long term, okay, where I really believe, you know, give it one, two, you know, pushing on five years. I think that some of these altcoins, for me anyway, I think there's like three altcoins. But, you know, they, they have like real massive potential. Um and like VeChain, although not one of my top three, is still one that I do believe is actually, you know, does have potential. Not so much real world use cases at the moment, but, you know, has the potential there. But nevertheless, technical analysis. I mean, you can see that how the levels are respected, okay? So really you have this monthly. So the, the three important levels for me are, are clearly that monthly, the weekly, and we haven't quite tapped it, but that weekly up ahead. But and this is where I mean like Fibonacci. Like, so Fibonacci is so, so, so amazing. So what I'm going to, what we'd like to do is pull from resistance down to support. So really simply your Fibonacci retracement from that high. Okay, so the Fibonacci retracement from the high down to the low. And you can see here, if we just hide the levels there, you can see how well this has caught the highs. Literally, then you had a 30, you know, almost 34 coming on 40% decline in price. Okay, you can literally see here, I'll do a, uh, this is the, how you like pull the price and range. So you can see from the bottom of that wick up to the top of that wick, that was a, a you know, obviously inversed, but nevertheless, 46% there. 
So, you know, Fibonacci is insanely accurate uh, to like catch these highs. So, um, you know, many people, have, you know, Fibonacci is not so hard, let's be honest. But, you know, from the high down to the low, when you're coming back up here, you're running into resistance. And you can just see here how you run into that CC. And it's just insanely you know, you got you got a third, you know, thirty, just over thirty percent decline in price. It's just insane how that works. Um, you know, <laughs> you follow this channel, you know, I love Fibonacci, and this is the exact reason why. Uh, so you know, you then combine that with the levels. And you'll be able to see that you have this now region of weekly to weekly. And, and you know, if you start to break down, you have that monthly below you. I think that this is like one of the coins where you do want to see momentum to carry on. OK, so I would really say you, you uh, this this is actually one that I said last week. This was obviously I, I do live streams every week for for champions. And we recognize this 150 sats as an amazing confluence region. There was so much support at 150 sats. At my exact words, 150 sats, amazing support. And you can see from that 150 sats topping out at that CC, it's another 56% increase in price. At that this region, by the way, there were several levels of um several levels of confluence. And I'll you know there was more than this, but I'll just show you this really quickly. Another Fibonacci, okay, from that low up to that high have a guess what happened there okay ran into that cc once more on the monthly just insane like you know that that trade jumps at you every day and then you know you had another 55 percent increase in price from that cc to the, the overall larger cc i mean yeah that's one that i found on stream last sunday uh literally and you see you yeah, know had 50 but another 50 percent run so it's insane like when you recognize these setups, you know, this is the thing. If you trade with momentum, you can buy coins while they're still running like this. Obviously, I, you know, the way I say it's like the opportunity is lowered in terms of like your risk to reward because you're going to have to, well, obviously here you can zoom in. You know, I don't want to go too complex in this video if I'm totally honest, but, um, you know, nevertheless, there's obviously opportunities still there on when a coin's ran up high, hard. But, uh, you know, your, your biggest opportunities are obviously while there's, you know, while the coins in accumulation rather than, you know, running. OK, so in its markup phase, essentially. Uh, so, yeah, that's VeChain. I like VeChain and I think you've got a nice defined range between really for me still 150 to 250 sats. OK, so that's your trading range. OK, so we're going to move on to Link, te uh, link Tether. OK, so Link against USD, essentially. And this is obviously an all time high. So this is a little bit of a different one. Um, and this is where I think uh, you have to adjust your trading style when you're in all time high region. So I, th I think there's this really nice channel that I'm going to show you here on link. And that is from your overall, well, not overall low, but from your low, connecting it to the low that was made back in March. Again, expanding this channel onto the highs. And you can see here, if we adjust this exactly on, okay, you can see how this channel, okay, has become, and this is on the log chart, by the way. And on the log chart, you can see that we have this really, really, really nice high term time frame channel with the middle of the channel getting, you know, resistance back into support, back into this SR region here, and you're finally back into the middle of the channel. But what's lovely about Link is that you are in this all time high now. So in all time highs, you don't really want to be so aggressive on taking profits. You know, I, I, um, I will say this, I am invested in Link, okay? And um, so not financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do with your money. You've got to do your own research. I am a trader that is just making this video for education and um, entertainment purposes. So no financial advice here, but, you know, I am in Link and I think that this is a, a you know, I've been in it for a while, okay? So this for me is like a really good opportunity on an altcoin. You know, this thing is at all time highs. Uh, it's just It's just not slowing down at the moment. So, you know, you can be looking at things uh, on the lower term time frame here. So if we come down on the lower term time frame, you can start to look for some divergences, can't you? So you can see here, uh, we haven't quite breached the high yet. So obviously, if, if we breach this next high, which is around $6.50, okay, you would want to see, um, you know, your, your, in, your, you know, your oscillators such as the RSI making new highs. So you're not moving up here on more bearish divergences. Um, I wouldn't be overly worried because I do think that you're going to get various divergences. But nevertheless, uh, you know, these sort of oscillators are, are what you can be looking for as you're in all time highs to work out. OK, how am I going to uh, approach this? But, you know, really, really simple, if I'm honest, that you're in an all time high on this coin. OK, the you know, it doesn't really show much signs of slowing down. I'm not sure what's happening here on trading view. You see how glitchy this is? I'm not even loading half the data anymore. Oh, yes, here we go. So <laughs> that's me going crazy. But nevertheless, you know. It's because I was obviously got switched back off a of log. Here we are back on log. So you can see this channel is really nice. Okay, and that's from the 19 low, okay, up to the June 19 high, back down to that March 20 low, and obviously where you are now back in June 20. 
up at around that middle of the channel. And if you run, okay, you know, I would say your next resistance, you're probably going to be looking at around $10, aren't you? Uh, or the way that I trade it is I don't actually trade the USD pair, I'll be honest with you. I, I trade the Bitcoin pair, but... Um, you know, this is obviously going to be very, very, very influenced by Bitcoin. That's what you have to bear in mind when you trade the Tether pairs. I personally trade the Bitcoin pairs. And saying that, I'm going to move on to Doge here. So Doge is obviously a coin that we were going through in yesterday's video. Uh, for me, it is a little bit of a, a, a mean coin, if I'm honest. Like, uh, I don't really feel that it's so technically traded. Like, yeah, I, I just don't feel it's so, uh, such a technical traded coin. The way that it ran up off of like TikTok, TikTok challenges, all this, all this good stuff. But nevertheless, you know, it, an asset's there to be traded, I suppose, at the end of the day. But um, I, I myself, I, I'm not in this one at the moment. But, you know, I can still give you an analysis on it. And, you know, really simply, the, these levels are, you know, the levels that I mentioned yesterday, they're still in play. In the end, you only moved up yesterday to 43 cents. But that's, you know, still had 10% off of that weekly. But um, I feel that this is an altcoin that is, is, I can't, maybe had its day because of the fact that it ran up off of a TikTok challenge. It doesn't really make so much sense why the coin ran up because of this. So in my opinion, it, it's it's a massively hyped altcoin. Like the amount of messages that I've had for Dogecoin is insane. Like insane. I don't know why people are so obsessed with it, but you know, clearly people are very obsessed with this altcoin. So whether there's still that FOMO left inside of this altcoin or whether, in my opinion, more likely to, do, to die down a little bit now. And, um, you know, I, I just don't see... Uh, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, trade the chart. You got to trade the chart. You can't like be thinking, oh, it has to fall back down because of this challenge, whatever. But I, in my opinion, it's it's likely. Um, I would say it's more likely than not to pull back here. But nevertheless, we can, you know, again look at things such as our oscillators here. You can see. Let's move down to the one hour time term time frame. Okay, you can see that as it was, you know, breaching its new highs here, you're getting some bearish divergences. Obviously, RSI is from the close. You can see on the app magic oscillator here that we actually made a lower high here as well while making a higher high and then in the end obviously you got that insane insane drop down okay down to that lower monthly which is a 50 percent increase in price so you can see how, how the oscillator gave you a heads up before a 50 percent decrease in price so obviously that's very beneficial because you know I, I imagine many people uh got you know probably lost money on that because the average person that's buying dogecoin off of like a tiktok challenge you have to think they're probably not so tech savvy investors or traders i would imagine obviously obviously i don't know that but i would imagine a lot of people lost money on that job so you've got to be a little bit careful i mean yeah i'm, I'm not trading dogecoin if i'm honest with you but uh you know there's still opportunity there and you still got that 39 sats 51 sats obviously i was saying about yesterday about 45 sats um you know regions on this old coin and again, you can do some like Fibonacci pulls on this. Uh, I think we're going to use the Doge uh, BTC pair over on Binance for this. Okay, this is the Bittrex chart. And you can see that you're going to be looking at that pull here. And that's going to give you around, yeah, about 50 sats, 52, 50, 50 sats. So I think, I think, yeah, you got that resistance about, you know, in my opinion, I'd be a little bit more cautious, 45, but, you know, up to up to that 50 monthly again, you, you do have the confluence over on Binance. Obviously, this is the thing the different exchanges give you different results. But, you know, I'm not so <laughs> not so bothered about this because I'm not trading it. But, you know, for, for your help, then, yeah, I, I'd say 45 sets. You've got to be a bit, bit cautious, but, you know, possibly up to that 50 sets, you get another run at it. So, um, yeah, that, that's my analysis of VeChain which I think you got really nice opportunity in the trading range. And that current trading range, in my opinion, is between 149 and basically that next weekly, which is 246. So you've got 100 sats trading range in there, which I, you know, uh, I have been trading VeChain. So I think that this is an, an, you know, a very good opportunity. There's definitely a trading range in there to make full advantage of. So yeah, I, I I'm in link, I'm in vet, and I'm in link, and I think both of those altcoins right now are just insane trading. Dogecoin, I'm not in, but you know I've given you some levels there to, which you know hopefully has helped you uh, make some informed decisions in terms of what's an actual support and you know where's the support and where's the resistances there. Uh, obviously, link, uh, I've not really given any resistances because it's not so massive. If I'm honest, you got. You know, if I'm honest, Link is at an all-time high, it's more likely to run than any other altcoin simply because there is no resistance above you. It is at an all-time high. It can just keep pushing and pushing. It's a it. blue sky breakout, we call it. So it's essentially, it's going to go up uh, until there is no more demand, essentially. So again, use your slayers for this. Um, but yeah, that is uh, a light overview. I haven't gone too in-depth, I know this, but nevertheless, that's a light overview on, on some of these altcoins. 
And, uh, you know, I, I've, I, I've viewed it, you, you know, especially in, in VeChain and Link, there's a lot of opportunities still to come on these coins. So really, really, really nice trading, especially Link. I must say, I, I love Link. Um, but I haven't, I've not, hopefully I've not shielded it in any way. I, I want to say you've got to be careful trading these altcoins because if you, if you really don't know what you're doing, even at all-time highs, you know, you get a, you get a situation. I mean, you've probably all seen it before. You, you start to see, you know, thousands and upon thousands of dollars profits on these altcoins. But then if you don't know how to take profits, you don't know, you know, you're trading your stops, you don't take percentages, then you can see these massive gains turn to losses. So, you know, um, you got to help yourself, obviously, on those sort of things. But, you know, nevertheless, those are three altcoins that I like, the ways that I'm trading them, the, the trading ranges. Um, well, not so much Dogecoin, I, I suppose, but nevertheless, I'm giving you the levels. And I'm going to end by saying this that I do have a live stream tonight, which is a champions live stream where I am going to actually be live trading these altcoins. So if you want to actually see me on the exchange with real Bitcoin, trading the altcoins, going in and out of positions, um, you know, the ben you know, obviously the main benefit of this is you can actually see a professional trader doing this live, uh, you know, trading it, explaining the thought processes behind it and, you know, actually seeing the levels that I'm buying, the yeah, levels where I'm looking to sell. There's so much benefit of seeing, obviously, live trading. So, uh, you know, if you're interested in that, if you're interested in me going through my favorite altcoins, uh, which I am going to be trading on live stream tonight, then, yeah, live stream is tonight. So you're more than welcome to come across and join me on that one, which I believe it's going to be absolutely amazing. I honestly, I'm thoroughly looking forward to this one because... Has been a while since I traded the altcoins last, but there's just so much opportunity. I, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna love going through that, and I also do give my, uh, you know, a Bitcoin uh, levels for the week and how I'm looking to trade that. So if you're interested in more in depth, uh, you know, altcoin actually trading rather than just the technical analysis, then yeah, you can look forward to that tonight over in the Champions live stream, which is a members live stream tonight. Uh, I hope that you have all enjoyed this video and I hope to catch you in the next one. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and have a good one. Goodbye. Cheers.